All right. Uh, I hope it just give a little better view. Uh, what I'm gonna do is let's install the and the LCD screen here. Is I'm going to install the LCD here and table a little bit. So, uh, for example, you need this one, and also, yeah, let me show you. I'm going to just disconnect it. The LCD cable for now, and I'm going to put it back later. I can pin a little bit, so I'm going to straighten it. So uh, I have this, so I'm going to use this two bolt to. Um, it just perfectly fits um, because okay, like, yeah, you can see it uh, connected here and here, bottom two. So once you have it, you can use the wrench and pin it. Not actually, wait a second, I'm going to push it to the side a little bit. You can, uh, I like just put it in the center. Uh, you can see this one here, this one here, should be connected to the uh, yeah, as well, once you do this, uh, you will get support from those end and then another support from here. So if you have it, good. If not, that is okay. It should be uh, additional support on this one is optional. And once you in here it will be good just for now I don't wear a mask because if I wear a mask uh, my sound is a little weird so out the mask, my AirPod takes the sounds a little better. Okay, now this is good. If the T node is not really working correctly, what you can do is you can uh, turn the other direction and then keep it loose, and then then uh, it, it will be good like this. <clears throat> well, maybe. <clears throat> I'm doing the video with the webcam here. <clears throat> yeah, and I understand like uh, sometimes it's really because of the focus and the light, it's a little tricky. So probably later I'm gonna take another video of me holding the webcam and then showing the each part or take some photos. And so you can use those as a reference later. Once, uh, Oh, LCD. And I'm going to put LCD on this side. Okay. Here. 
So uh, now, like the others, you can just kind of slide in because of the P notch. So this time, actually, you need to unscrew the P notch. First of all, we're going to put it this way, but you need to put the cables through between the aluminum extrusion like this, and you can slide it and it will snap, snap, snap it. Okay, here we go. You can see. It. Then you can put it back. Good. Later on, you know, the organizing cable will be very at the end. Then we got this one. Let me see how I can make it easy. Okay. The white balance is not really great here. So, uh, the bolt, and then you need to put the T nut like here. And you need to have something to slide it in. And you need to do it. Or when you slide the notch, oh, it's not there. Or the better way is, let me show you. You put the T notch and move this one and See it from this angle, like this, and then like find it's perfectly aligned and put the bolt. If you do that, you fill it, then you don't see it and you can slide. So I'm not gonna tighten it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Put the T nut here and move it. And like make sure this is aligned from the top view here and the bolt. And I'm not gonna tighten it. And then if I do this, I need to flip it. See, can I get a better view? So, uh, put the T knot and just hit it. And you you can feel it when it's uh, working. Okay. 
The bottom here, I try, I'm not sure you can see it here. Two as well. I think there's another one. It's not in the center, but it's okay. Forward. Oh, uh, from this angle. So in my case, how I do it, this is the front, and then it's facing me like this. This is the front, and I call it, this is X motor, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So uh, I'm going to connect this one to the X, X is this one, Y, the y z will be the z so when you later move the printer like facing me like this so this will be x y x y motor here better okay better it's facing you x y z motor so this will be the x axis this will be the y axis so again x y Z motor. So when you connect it to the, the drive, um, probably I'm going to adjust the camera and hopefully you're going to have a better view. And, uh, almost, yeah, we are, we are getting close. The wiring will be there at the end. Actually, I forgot to do that. I need to do the, put the uh, timing belt. Here too. So as you put the timing belt and uh, connect it with the stepper motor, finish the wiring and uh, do the test print. <laughs> 